good morning good afternoon and good evening depending on the time you're listening to me so my dear students i just hope you all are doing great once again i am back with another very interesting story and always remember our three step methodology which is number 1 listen to the reading very carefully number 2 listen to the hindi explanation and in the step number 3 listen and answer the questions all right now let's go for a step number 1 the wolf and the crane once a wolf was wandering here and there in the forest in search of food suddenly he found a big dead animal he at once jumped upon it and began eating hurriedly the wolf was in such a haste that while eating a bone got stuck in his throat The wolf tried hard to bring the bone out but failed miserably. The greedy wolf even tried to swallow the bone to continue eating but didn't succeed. At last, he went to a crane that lived by the river. The wolf said to the crane, "A bone has got stuck in my throat while eating. Please extract it out with the help of your long neck and beak you will be well paid for this obligation the crane agreed he inserted his long beak inside the wide open mouth of the wolf the crane's long neck helped him in reaching down the throat and pulling the bone out After accomplishing the work successfully the crane said now pay for my service the cunning wolf laughed ha 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 payment for your service you should thank me for allowing you to bring out your head safely from the mouth that's it so that is the end of the story now let's go take some words from this lesson and master them here we go the first word is wander and there is another word which is very close to this one and most people get confused between these two words so that is wander and this is not wander this is wander like we say wander and wander means to move around without a goal so it really means that you are just moving here and there and you have no goal that means you have not set any kind of destination so that is called wander for example i could say the boys are wandering around that means the boys are just walking here and there all right let's move on to the next one the next word is insert and insert means to put in so when we just talk about something uh for example i would say insert the sim card in the mobile phone it means i'm telling you to put the sim card in the mobile phone so that is insert in okay let's keep going the next one is accomplish accomplish and accomplish means to achieve or to fulfill so it really means that when you are trying to get something and you are really working hard for that and finally you get that so you would say wow i accomplished it so for example let me give you a very simple example so that uh, you could get the better idea 
just suppose you are trying to speak English and you are practicing it, you are taking the classes, and finally you started speaking English. So you could say, I have accomplished English fluency. That means now you are speaking English fluently. All right. The next word is haste, and haste means hurry, or swiftly, or I would say quickly as well. So just suppose I'm telling you to do something very very fast. So I would say hurry, and there is a very common phrase with this word, which is hurry up, and hurry up means. Make it fast. Do it fast. That means we do not have a lot of time. So just suppose uh, you just need to go somewhere and you are running short of time. So you could say, "Hurry up." Okay. Good. Now let me give you another word from this lesson, which is "stuck." And stuck means, uh, you know, to become fixed in one position. So it really means a block. Uh, and the better example would be just suppose you are traveling, and you're driving, and all of a sudden you just got a huge crowd around you. So you could say. You got in a traffic. That means you are surrounded by lots of people. So that is the sense with a stuck. So you could say I got a stuck in a traffic. All right, and the final word from this lesson is extract. And extract means. To draw out, or to remove. So, if we talk about removing something, we can say extract. So, let me give you an example. Uh, let's say, what meaning did you extract from this lesson? So, I would say we extracted a very important meaning from. Or a very important message from this lesson, which is, we should not believe the cunning person or cunning creature. So that's all about the word meanings from this lesson. I really hope that you have understood a lot. And with this, I have come to an end of this lesson. And I really want you to subscribe to my channel for this kind of interesting contents because I'm gonna use stories to teach you English, and I am using stories for a very good reason, cause I know that most people enjoy listening to the story, and when we're learning through stories, we are really enjoying the process. Okay, so this was step number one, in which I just went through reading, and I expect you to listen to the reading very carefully. It will really help your pronunciation. And in the next step, I'm just going to explain this story in Hindi so that my viewers, my students, could understand this story very well. So thank you very much for being here. Thank you.